at the front end, I got to tell you, uh, I'm a huge fan of The Wire. I think it's one of the uh, greatest, uh, not just television shows, but pieces of art uh, uh, in the last uh, couple of decades. I, I was a huge fan of it. What is it that uh, you saw, you learned, you heard that uh, made you start thinking about the, the, the culture of the drug trade and how its impact on the inner cities and, and uh, uh, that compelled you then to want to tell these stories? Well, I, I was in Baltimore and it's a very, uh, it's a drug saturated city or it certainly was in the, in the early 1980s when I arrived. Right. This was a time where people thought they could arrest their way out of the drug problem. Right. And, and they actually tried to do that. And what became increasingly obvious to me over the years of covering it was that when you devote yourselves to street level drug enforcement, when you try to win the drug war, you only have a limited number of, of, uh, of resources, limited right. amount of resources. And I watched the police department in Baltimore, and then I noticed it in other cities, other cities with the same sort of problems of, uh, of drug use. Um, they stopped doing police work. Right. They were arresting people for drugs, and that was presumptive police work, but actually it wasn't. And at the same time that the numbers of drug arrests and the incarcerations for drug arrests went up, and they were small incarcerations, they were two, three months city jail because you couldn't put them everywhere. You right. couldn't build prisons fast enough. Right. Meanwhile, the arrest rates for rape, robbery, murder were going down. I saw this uh, during the period that you were mm -hmm. reporting and then uh, you know, starting to, to write for, for television, this, this just explosion of uh, incarcerations, disproportionately African-American and Latino. Yep. Uh, and the, the challenge, which you, know, you depict in your show, is uh, folks go in at great expense to the state, many times trained to become more hardened criminals while in prison, come out and are uh, basically unemployable. The drug trade itself, it's like a company town. And, and this, is a, this is a industry so large and so, with so much money around it that it's hard, to, uh, it's hard to get around it if you grow up amid it. Yeah. 